Welcome to Jam 360 Entertainment News. I'm your host, Electra. For this news feature and more things, Ari, download the Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com. In today's stories, Bermuda responds to Version and his team. I Octane implies Dallas was sacrificed. Senator Samuda says Queen Ifrika misinterpreted his remarks. And New York Times puts women in dancehall on Spotlight. Bermuda responds to Version and his team. Dancehall artist Version and his PR team are at odds after they sent out a release last week accusing the Bermudian authorities of denying the artist's entrance into the country. His publicist in a release said although the show in question was cancelled, Version wanted to visit the island as a tourist but he was denied entry. However, National Security Minister for Bermuda Wayne Keynes angrily hit out at the spokespersons for the Jamaican artist, whose real name is Kemar Version Brown. Kane said that Version was never refused entry into Bermuda as he never traveled there. Kane said no Jamaicans were refused entry to the island on Friday and Brown's name did not appear on any flight manifests for that day. The latest news on the incident is that the singer's publicist has now retracted his earlier statement and offered an apology. The agency said that in light of Kane's statement, it was prudent that they withdraw their original stance. They also said that they would cooperate in any investigation being carried out as well as assist in repairing any damage done to Bermuda's reputation. Virgin, however, is insisting that it was a misunderstanding on the part of his PR team and that at no time did he ever tell them that he had been denied entry in Bermuda. I Octane implies Dallas was sacrificed. The social media sparring match between dancehall artist I Octane and Conscience went to another level when the loser friend artist made some disturbing comments. The implication was clear as he used the word sacrifice and illuminati in reference to Conscience's late brother Dallas, who committed suicide. No, you would. You know, if you talk about sacrifice, star, when you sacrifice your brother, rest in peace, Dallas, he wrote. Conscience clapped back, saying, Things had gone too far as he thought the online exchange was all fun and games. He didn't know I Octane was serious all along. Apparently, I'm me alone did I laugh on him, I Octane. Did I take everything personal with real hatred behind it? To the point where my brother that passed away name get mentioned, wrote Conscience. Conscience said that he's going back in his corner of the world and leave the fun and laughing thing with people. Conscience fans in responding to his post said I Octane is the most bad mind artist in dancehall claiming nothing now go on for him. That's why he's behaving as such, trying to get attention. Whew, what's next? Samuda says Queen Africa misinterpreted his remarks. Government Senator Matthew Samuda says Queen Africa misinterpreted comments he made about her and her cockpit country stance. I encouraged all citizens of Jamaica to take more governance of their country. That is what I did. So, I don't know anything about politicizing her actions. Perhaps her actions were politically motivated, but I mentioned her name and another artist, so it's not like I was taking any aim at her specifically, Samuda told the Jamaica Observer last Friday. New York Times puts the spotlight on women in dance hall. Dance hall is on the world stage and the New York Times has done a feature on four female artists who they think are redefining dance hall. Spice, Aishana, Jada Kingdom, and Shensia. The article states, Known for its raunchy sexual lyrics and explicitly provocative style, dancehall has long been dominated by men. In the 80s and 90s, female artists like Lady Saw, Sister Nancy and Patro were a rarity, using their music to challenge social and religious norms. Now many more women are making dancehall music and they're beginning to change the language of the genre. That's our wrap up for today. Thank you for watching Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. For this news feature and more things, Ari, download the Ari Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com.